Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 2nd of July. The local media headlines today. Are the Devon and Cornwall Police about to become the Devon or Cornwall Police when it comes to dealing with traveller communities? Police have just used what many of their own officers regard as draconian powers to force the eviction of travellers from council land in Plimpton. This had the immediate effect of sending those travellers to council land just over the bridge in Saltash. The idea that Cornwall might become home to a giant battery factory for electric cars has taken a bit of a knock, with news that the government is backing a project in Sunderland instead. And as we all try to get our heads round the by-election result from Yorkshire this morning, we offer some thoughts about why opposition is so difficult. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and has a story that will get many local people talking. One of the town's best-known harbour front shops is about to disappear. The smock shop's been going for 35 years, but now its freehold has been sold by Cornwall Council. Market forces are doing the rest. The BBC reported what police say was an attempted murder in Liscard. Pirate FM noted the rise in pop-up Covid vaccination centres as new cases continue to increase. The Falmouth packet told us what happened when a colony of bees swarmed and got lost in Penryn. And finally Cornwall Live had a story about a young woman who's taller than her boyfriend. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye.